Hello and what is up guys, Samrit here from Science of Sam or SOS and this is gonna be the first video on my channel so please make sure to subscribe my channel and like this video and do not forget to press the bell icon. So in this video I'm going to show you how to use ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and Blink app to make a very simple IoT project. So let's get started. The first stuff you will be needing is a ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. The second thing you will be needing is some LEDs. And last but not the least, female to female jumper cables. Firstly, go ahead and connect the legs of the LED to female to female jumper cables as shown in the video. Now connect the positive leg of the LED to D1 of the board and negative leg to ground. I am not using another LED, rather I am using the inbuilt LED which is connected to D4. Now here comes the mobile section. Go ahead and open your play store or app store and on the search bar go ahead and type blink. So get that app installed on your device, I have already installed it so I am going to open it. When you will open it, it will ask you to log in or sign in so go ahead and sign in or log in with your appropriate gmail address as it will send a auth token to your gmail address which we will use later on in our coding section. So first click on new project, give your project any name, I am giving it IOT1 and hit on the device which we, is, we are using so it is ESP8266 now uh, let it be Wi-Fi because we are using Wi-Fi board now select the theme dark or light now hit on generate and it is telling you that uh, our token is sent now hit on this plus button right there now hit on button icon and get one of it and get another by the same process drag it somewhere else now click on one of the button and you will get this interface now click on button and give it any name I am giving it light1 and click on pin so here it is showing GPIO so let's see what is GPIO to D so as we are using D4 and D1 it is GPIO2 and GPIO5 so let's go ahead so let it be GPIO5 as it is D1 and hit on push button so that it will get converted into switch now give it also another name I am giving it light2 now repeat the same process and give it GPIO2 now that's it for the mobile section let's go to our desktop so first of all we need to download two libraries the first one up here is ESP8266 library links for this is in the description box so go ahead and check it out now scroll down and you will get this clone or download so click on it and click on download zip file and another library which we will be using is blink library so download this library also with the same process Now go ahead and open the zip file which we have just downloaded. So open the ESP8266 library and inside this you will get this folder. So just copy it and go to your C drive. Inside that click on program files and in that click on Arduino and inside it hit libraries. Now paste that file right here. I have already done that so I am not gonna repeat that process and repeat this same process for another library which is blink library. Now go ahead and connect your ESP8266 Wi-Fi module to your laptop or PC through a USB cable which we use for charging our smartphones. Now go ahead and open the code. Uh, links for this code is in the description box below so go ahead and check it out go to tools click on board and just scroll down 
and you will get this node mcu 1.2 click on that now again go to tools go to port and click on whatever port it is showing to you it is different in different pcs now here comes our setup function so here you need to paste the auth token which blink has sent in your email so right here you need to paste that go ahead and open your gmail or email whatever so i'm having a mail from blink click on that and now here it is written auth token so just copy that and now paste it here now here comes our Wi-Fi setup so here you need to write the name of your Wi-Fi and the password of your Wi-Fi so just go ahead and write the name of your Wi-Fi right here make sure that every detail is correct and here write your password now in this section we are declaring the pins but this section is not that much necessary but it may help you if any bug occurs while compiling your sketch or uploading your sketch so that's it for the code section now hit on upload and it is uh, compiling the sketch means it is detecting the bugs inside the sketch now okay the code is uploaded successfully now let's go to our smartphone and check this so as you can see whenever i'm pressing this button the inbuilt led is glowing and when i press the second button my led which i have connected through jumpers is glowing so that's it for the project guys thank you for watching this video guys hope you enjoyed it and for my latest updates don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon and follow me on instagram in my future video i'm going to show you how to connect the same setup with google assistant so stay tuned and up to then bye bye